Okay, I had a long week. That's why I'm wearing this shirt, because that's how I feel. I am sick, my back hurts, and I have my period, and I know this is TMI, but if you want to skip ahead, here's where you skip to. I have irritable bowel syndrome, and there's either constipation or diarrhea or both. I have diarrhea, so when I have my period, I get like really bad diarrhea. And then I have to take two Midols and a Pepto-Bismol, and that usually does the trick. And I film for you guys, so I just had to push on through. And I'm Asian American, which means the American side of me doesn't take any sick days off. The Asian side of me doesn't take any holidays off. So, here I am. Yes, giving 110% when I feel like 50. Anyways, so I wasn't even sure if I should have made this video. Of the reasons I will list here, yeah, I don't think I should have made this video, but I feel like it's very popular and I don't mean it in like I want to gain viewers or subscribers Though, if you like my channel, please, this is a great segue, isn't it? Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. No, I was trying to say that I know that this is a gray area. <laughs> Let me get into it really quickly. <laughs> it's a gray area. It could potentially be legal and child labor, etc. And like counterfeit is bad because you know we're stealing from billionaire companies, which I ironically don't really care about the billionaire companies like Boo and Who, right? But like I do care about child labor, leather consumption, and all those things. But I'm also human. Before I became a mom, I had more willpower and like happiness. <laughs> And so before I became a mom, I was more strict on doing these things like being vegan or like not eating meat or like buying leather Those are things that I really care about. Um, what happened? <laughs> to me. I think after becoming a mom, I realized that we don't live in an idealistic world and um, there's this meme that we don't need a few people to do environmentally friendly things perfectly. We need millions of people to do environmentally friendly things imperfectly instead of shaming myself being like completely vegan and like trying to sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice so that the world would be a better place. I think that makes me shittier, <laughs> makes me a bitchier person. <laughs> have a stick up my ass because I need to sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice and then the only happiness I get is from judging other people which would be what I would do, right? Because I am I just want some meat. And I think that's similar to like buying these fake purses, right? It's okay to buy things that you love, that you will enjoy, that you will take care of and have for a long time and appreciate if it's like leather or counterfeit or whatever. It's not really the point. The point is that you like it and you enjoy it. You do your best, but you're not like over consuming. Then I think it's okay. I'm gonna give myself some grace because I bought these purses when I was sad. <laughs> so fucking sad. <laughs> when you have a child, look, I'm also wearing boxers. <laughs> So you know, I am tired today. <laughs> Trying to be as comfortable as possible for viewers like you. What was I saying? <laughs> oh yeah, so I bought these purses when I was like really, really sad. I think my kid was sick. I think we all had the stomach flu and she was staying up all fucking night and I was like re-traumatized that she would go back to the newborn phase where I didn't sleep for like four months. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope you guys enjoy this review and let's just get along with it. First purse, I buy a lot of Pauline purses. This is the purse I got and it's so cute. This bag came with this wallet. It's just like a little purse wallet, like a little tiny one. It's basically like two kinds of purses in one. So the design is so beautiful. There's two handles. There's a long handle and a short handle. And this is magnetic. This right here, this little circle. You could push it out, right? So you could take out this magnet and you push it in and then you connect the magnets again. And then you have a completely different shaped purse. It's, it's so cute. I love that idea. This is an open face purse. So it's not like zipper, which is fine. I mean, sometimes you like a purse like that, right? Sometimes I don't though, because I think I don't like it per se because I'm a mom. I don't want to potentially have my kid pull things out. This is probably a purse I can't use around my kid, but I mean, it's also white. So it's like, I'm asking for her to color on it. It says Pauline on this right here. And then I think that it does say Pauline on the wallet. It does, but you can't really tell anyways, cause it's in gold. You can't really see it on the purse because it's gold and white. It's just a cute purse. I I think I, I would wear it like this, definitely. I just, I love the style. I don't know, I think it's so unique. I love 
unique purses. My fashion is not necessarily unique. I would call it classic fashion and I like my purses to be the statement that shows that I'm kind of unique. You know, I'm not super unique. Everyone is like kind of like not that unique, no offense. But um, I think a purse that is beautifully made and is unique is very, it's just cute to have as a staple. Okay, so this is the first purse. Okay, so I got another Pauline purse. I got three of them, okay, so this is my second one. I wanted a brown purse that was kind of small. It's because I have a brown coat and I realized that I would like to match. <laughs> Only recently realized that you can just match your shoes and your purse and then you look really great together. So, I needed a brown bag. So I got this. It's so, I don't know if this is 90s, like early millennial, but this is a very, it's not in anymore. I feel, I think it's just because we have social media now. It's totally because we have social media now. But it's more like a side purse, you know? It's more like something you wear to the side. And because if you can't take pictures cutely with your purse, then I feel like people don't even buy them anymore. People buy shit to show off, okay? People don't buy shit because they like it. Well, they have to like it too, but they do it also to show off. I want to buy this even though I don't kind of want to show it off. No, technically, I'm showing it off right now. Um, it is a con that you can't really show it off in pictures though. Right, it's so awkward. If you see me in modeling clips, I'm like, I don't fucking know how to hold this. <laughs> yes, so then you open it, which I have yet to do, and then it has a little slit in on the side, and that's that's the bag. It's like a crescent moon shape. I would wear this often, especially with brown sandals. I just love this shape and the design is so beautiful. In love with this bag, and I love the color. I thought this was a really good buy. I got a Tory Burch purse. I bought this thinking it was going to be smaller. I thought it was going to be more like this size, so a lot smaller. But uh, it turned out really big and I thought I was hate it, but in the modeling clip, I think it looked really great. I'm not in love with it, but I'm kind of in like with it now. So that's kind of a good thing. The handle is adjustable, which I really love. And then it's black inside and it has a slit and a zipper. Hmm. The zipper kind of does not work very well, so that's something to think about. It doesn't work uh, terribly, but it, it does stay zipped. <laughs> well, you get what you pay for, you know what I'm saying? So, anyway, so you can put the, the chain into the purse and then hold it like this, which is pretty cute. I like that. I like the idea that you could like adjust it and change how to wear your purse. I didn't think I was going to like this purse. I think it's also an older woman's purse. I have to admit I'm getting older. <laughs> My friend, who's kind of a bitch, but I love her, said that when I smile really wide, you can see a lot of my wrinkles. I look old. Well, fuck you too. Or I was talking to my therapist and she was saying that, what's wrong with getting older? And I was like, that's true, like we're all getting older. Are we so sad to ourselves <laughs> that we're like not 21 anymore, whatever. Why do women obsess about their age and how they're getting older and how they think that as you get older, you become less, of, less and less of a person. If anything, you become more and more of a person, you know? I mean, I'm still battling that in my head. I feel like old is still bad and I'm judging it. Like it's the bane of my existence that I'm getting older, but we all get older and it's either we get older or we die. And, and what's wrong with getting older? I think I've been so something in society that I don't necessarily agree with anymore now that I'm getting older and I have to accept that I'm getting older and that that comes with wrinkles and hip problems and back problems and forgetting shit and but it also comes with confidence it comes with self-actualization it comes with experience it comes with freedom it comes with wisdom or I like where I am in my age I like who I am I like that I feel more alive it's funny I mean I might look more tired but I feel more alive I think we should all reflect and give ourselves some grace for getting older and and loving ourselves even as we get more wrinkles because because we deserve the love. Okay, just talking to myself because obviously I don't believe it either. <laughs> Sorry, what was I saying about being old? Um, I was saying that I think I enjoy this purse because I think as I get older, I want purses that are like old woman purses. <laughs> like I think old woman purses. It's so funny because I wear like shirts like this. This is not today. This is like a young person's, like a teenager slash a college person's shirt. But but I like this. It feels like an older person purse. I feel like Tory Burch is like something a sophisticated 30 year old would wear. You know what I'm saying? Next purse. 
I bought this purse because I was thinking it would be a great travel purse because it's huge. Anyways, it's just a huge bucket bag. I like it. I think it would be a great travel bag. I think it is an issue because it doesn't zip, but it's so big. I think I would end up buying or getting tiny purses and tiny like travel size things like this where you can zip it up and keep it nice and organized and then I would put it in this bag. I don't think you should just put little things in the bag because it could totally fall out and if you're traveling you might have to like hide it under your the person in front of you, their seat or whatever. It's not the most convenient bag but I think it would be so cute to travel with. I, I can only imagine all these IG models traveling with a bag like this looking super cute on their plane. I don't know why we need to look cute on the plane too. <laughs> so dumb. Yeah, I, I like this bag. I'm so tired you guys obviously I can't even think anymore um, I'm just excited to eat lunch and clean it's cute it has these little Pauline foot things that say Pauline on it last time I made one of these reviews I think I ended up donating two of the purses because they were either not good quality or I ended up not actually liking the style and I wouldn't I knew that I wouldn't wear it actually this these four purses I think I, I'm definitely gonna keep all of them which I'm really grateful for because I sometimes they can be hit or miss when you buy online and you never you don't look at them and you don't see what you like so those are all my purses so tired I'm so hungry guys <laughs> so sick I hope you guys enjoyed I hope this was a good video I mean I hope this review helped you guys figure out what you like Thanks for watching and like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys ended up buying any of these purses, if you guys have any questions about the purses I bought, I will leave the links in the description below and their original counterparts. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Bye.